The North Star Polaris has lied to you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. In this video, we will try to see what a strange thing is happening to the Northern Star. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. Drop everything and allow me to share a really entertaining fact about the North Star with your friends and family in the hopes of seeming a little smarter and more up to date in the science area. Everything we know about this star has suddenly been thrown into doubt. For millennia, Polaris, often known as the North Star, has guided visitors in establishing the direction of North on Earth. This star is in the constellation Ursa Minor, also known as the Little Dipper. Polaris remains virtually directly above the North Pole throughout the night due to its unchanging position relative to the Earth's rotation axis. Since the dawn of civilization, it has served as a dependable reference point for navigators, astronomers, and even ordinary stargazers seeking to determine the north direction. Polaris is one of three stars in the Little Dipper constellation. It consists of a primary star and two fainter companions that circle around the central star. Polaris' pulsing nature is an intriguing characteristic that we shall be focusing on. Its brightness varies on a regular basis, which astronomers can easily detect and determine. This property is typically investigated to acquire insights on star distances and to learn more about the universe's acceleration rate. Cepheid variable stars are especially rhythmic pulsating stars. Keep that in mind as you watch the video. What is going on? Recent research has revealed that the pulsations of the star have not been displaying exactly what we anticipated them to. Its pulsations have been undergoing strange alterations for the past 200 years, which we have just recently become aware of. This appears to be leading the scientific community to no longer be able to agree on the size or distance of Polaris from us. But why? Because what we assumed was a stable Cepheid variable is actually altering its period multiple times over the years. Polaris was said to have a tightly planned pulsating period of every four days. That is, every four days Polaris would go through a whole cycle of being exceedingly bright and then extremely dark and so on, or at least that's what we thought. Let's take a closer look at this, but before we get there it's vital to know what kind of stars are orbiting our own Polaris. Star types surrounding it. The Polaris I keep citing is the primary star, more formally known as Polaris AA. It's a yellow supergiant, also known as F-class star. Astronomers appear to enjoy writing simple letters on stars. In any case, Polaris has 5.5 times the mass of our lovely sun and is our primary focus because it is also the famous Cepheid variable in the triplet. Moving on to one of the orbiting stars, the closest one is called Polaris AB, and it is roughly the same mass as our Sun Polaris AB orbits Polaris AA in a somewhat leisurely orbit with a period of approximately 29 years. The final small orbiting star is so far away from the other two that one would question how it ended up in this triple system. Anyway, can you envision it being 2,400 astronomical units away from the primary star and orbiting it for 40,000 years? For reference, we estimate Polaris distance from Earth to be roughly 448 light years. Direct Observations The intriguing thing about Cepheid variables is that their total brightness is directly related to their pulsation. It's like they have their own little light display. So by looking at these unique stars that are very far away, we can actually determine how far they are. You may wonder how. So we can calculate their total brightness. Some wise people have chosen to utilize the James Webb Space Telescope to look closer at roughly 300 of these stars. Their goal was to confirm the distances between galaxies and see if they could solve the well-known cosmic riddle known as the Hubble Tension. This mystery has to do with how rapidly the cosmos is growing, and it's been bothering scientists for a long time, believe me. The James Webb Telescope has now become the Sherlock Holmes of space exploration. It has all these sophisticated gadgets to assist us in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. 
As a result, the scientists acquired data from these Cepheid stars and studied them using a telescope. And guess what they discovered? The Hubble tension is still there, like an annoying mosquito. The universe, it turns out, isn't growing at the same rate everywhere you look. It's like if a speed limit sign become jumbled and confused. But let's take it a step farther. Assume you're in a race where everyone is supposed to be running at the same speed. However, when you watch them, you will notice that some are moving faster than others. Isn't it chaos? That's pretty much what's going on with the universe's expansion. The galaxies, like the runners, move at varying rates. So what does all of this mean? It implies that the Hubble tension is genuine. It's not a coincidence or a mistake. Our universe is a little off, and we have no idea why. It's like attempting to solve a Rubik's Cube that changes colors with each turn. While the Hubble strain is annoying, it is also exhilarating. It suggests we still have a lot to learn about the cosmos we live in. Something is strange. Polaris observations have recently brought a new twist to the plot. Astronomers have been monitoring it and have discovered some fascinating facts. Polaris is a pulsing star, as scientists discovered in 1911. But what's really remarkable is that the period of its pulsations has gradually increased throughout the course of the 20th century. It appears that the star is taking an increasing amount of time to complete one entire pulse. The total amplitude or the amount of the brightness change has however been decreasing. It's as though the star's pulsations are getting less showy. But here's where things get crazier. Something unusual happened between 1963 and 1965. Nobody understands why the pulsations truly reversed during those years. Polaris appears to have decided to flip the script and confuse everyone. This phenomena has been going on for over a century, with the pulsations steadily becoming more intense, though the increase is not considerable. At the moment, the only hypothesis is that Polaris is made up of three stars in a system. One of the stars may be influencing the primary star, causing it to pulsate at slightly different intervals and with lower strength. However, this is all guesswork and we have yet to find a concrete reason. But don't worry, there's more. Things have taken an even stranger turn in recent years. Instead of increasing further, the period began to decline around 2010. Polaris appears to have changed its mind, further perplexing us. And by the 1990s, the pulsations had shrunk to the point that they were almost non-existent. It seemed as if the star was performing a disappearance act on us. All of these changes were measured using radial velocity, which examines the entire velocity of the star by evaluating its red and blue shifts. Over the last 60 years, scientists have taken approximately 4,000 measurements. And based on these observations, the amplitude of the alterations appears to be decreasing. Polaris appears to be gradually cooling down and becoming more steady. So what does it all mean? We don't have all the answers right now, but as I hinted previously, we do have a probable reason for this shambles. Some potential causes we are aware of. As we delve deeper into the complexities, it becomes clear that the source lies inside the orbital dynamics at work. Let's take a closer look at the perplexing scenario. To summarize, our attention is directed to the main star, which is joined by a nearby star that orbits it every 29 years. This cosmic partner could play an important role in this. It has an effect on the higher layers of the primary star, causing slight adjustments in their locations. The eccentricity of their orbit magnifies these effects, especially as the stars get closer together. This celestial collision occurs every 29 years, potentially causing dramatic changes in the orbital dynamics of the two stars. Surprisingly, such a scenario also presents a problem to astronomers attempting to record a more precise and accurate orbit of the complete star system. The complexities of these celestial motions make it extremely difficult to chart their courses with high precision. Consequences However, this new discovery raises a major issue. 
Because of their constant nature, Cepheid variables are widely employed to precisely measure distances, as I explained previously. However, we now know that these Cepheid variables are impacted by their partner stars to a larger extent than previously anticipated. This is something we should be aware of because it may be affecting our estimations of distances to distant galaxies. In layman's terms, this phenomenon, also known as the Hubble tension, may be generating inaccuracies in our understanding of the expansion of the universe. More research is needed to acquire a better grasp of what is going on here and whether this is the cause of the inconsistencies we see. These first disclosures have opened up a new line of inquiry. It is critical to look more into the changes taking place in the well-known star Polaris. Nobody knows what is causing these changes, hence nobody knows what is causing them. Isn't it cool? Finally, the finding of how Cepheid variations are influenced by their partner stars has raised questions about the precision of distance determinations. This phenomena has the potential to distort our knowledge of the universe's expansion and the Hubble tension. As a result, it is critical that we conduct additional research on this occurrence in order to obtain a better understanding of the issue. Polaris's alterations present an exciting puzzle that scientists are anxious to answer, and you, my friend, have something cool to impress your friends with. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll look at even more exciting events in our world. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to remain up to date on our latest videos and most fascinating topics.